Let's Burn with Brigands presents... The Wheel of Death. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the debut of Season 3 of Let's Burn with Brigands here on Let's Play slash Let's Burn with Brigands. We have a brand new sauce lineup courtesy of friend of the channel, Jester. Thank you for gifting me the resources to make Season 3 possible. 9 out of 10, 90% brand new lineup here on Let's Burn with Brigands. Uh, we have a new wheel, which we'll talk about as we get into the uh, the game for this evening. We're kicking off Season 3 with an arcade classic, The Simpsons. If you grew up in the 90s, you went into an arcade, you've probably seen this game, maybe played it. It was always one of my favorite arcade games. And being that this is an arcade game, we have a very simple rule on the Wheel of Death tonight. Lose a life or beat a level, and we have our bonus rule tied into if we lose the bonus game, we will trigger that, that new wheel, but we'll talk about that if and when the time comes. But let's spin the wheel. That hasn't changed. Same rule right there, and that, uh, all right, every time we beat a level. I think we dodged a bullet there. I don't remember how many levels are in the Simpsons arcade game, but uh, I brought a lot of quarters, so we should be able to get through this one. So uh, let's get that rule on the board and get started with the Simpsons arcade game as we are debuting a brand new sauce lineup here on Let's Burn with Brigands Season 3. All right, here we are. Let's get our rule up on the board. We have a brand new wheel, the Scorpion Wheel. The bonus wheel has been replaced by the Scorpion Wheel. We'll talk about that after we enjoy this intro. God love the animation of the arcade game. Spark, age 10, hobby, instigating, disobedience. <laughs> I love this game. Homer's 35, bowling a big one. No one's ever called him home dude. Lisa. Bet I know what her hobby is. There you go, wailing on her sax, moaning Lisa. I don't think anyone's ever called her that. Play friendly, everyone. Yeah, this is the one where Marge beats people with a vacuum. I was always a Homer guy, so we're gonna stick with Homer. Homer! Homer! And it's creepy. The rest of the Simpsons family is, I don't know, and uh, just unconscious, I suppose. All right, plenty of quarters. Let's do it. So in this game, Mr. Smithers is super evil. It's before they realize all the character dynamics and everything. Figured out all the personalities, but yeah, back in season one. Yeah, when uh, Mr. Burns was not just cartoon evil, but like super villain evil, he kind of mellowed out. I love the graphics though in this game, so colorful. There's so many, because this game came out in like 1991, it was like, Smithers is kind of evil, yeah. <laughs> he was he was kind of more evil in the first seasons. Um, but yeah, this is The Simpsons' new game. So this is early on when, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of season one references, is what I'm trying to say. So maybe you'll recognize who all these insurance salesman looking guys are, I don't know. Principal Skinner. And now with Martin. Super Nintendo Chalmers. I know we haven't seen Ralph yet, but still. It's before they nailed down so many of the uh, the personalities of the characters. Before they introduced a lot of characters, too, honestly. So, yes, the new wheel is the Scorpion Wheel. We have a brand new Scorpion theme song for said wheel. When we get to that round, we spin a wheel. And, uh, and we, we do a shot of one of the scorpion sauces from the past. Burger! <laughs> All right, first boss. Like, anyone remember this guy? Action feels good on this thing. I'm playing with the F310, but like, yeah, just... Everything about this makes you feel like you're in the arcade. They do a really good job. I'm not playing on the Sonic cabinet. <laughs> Full disclosure. Man, am I not gonna even go through? Might not even go through a life on this first level? 
Maybe I should have stuck with the... Lose a life. Get him, Homer! Oh, it's, it's gonna be so close. Alright, now we lost that first life. Oh well. And he's he's about to go. Alright, that makes me feel a little better. Alright, if anyone knows who that guy is, let me know. I love that dance, by the way, the little. Come back here with my cat! Alright, before we get into the second level, we just beat the first level. So, triggering the rule for the first time. The first instance, although I did do a, uh, a reveal, so I did try this sauce ahead of time. But, the brand new round one, I don't even know what it is. Remind me? Ah, yes. Formosa. Here we go. This is Jalapeno. Yeah, I did a, for the first time ever, did a reveal of the, the new lineup and got to try this one ahead of time. It's like guacamole meets sour cream, but jalapeno. And I don't know. It's it's nice. It's nice. I like it. It's, uh, it's one of the only sauces this season. It comes out very slowly. I already forgot the pace at which these come out. Good lord, that's slow. Yeah, uh, on balance, this is a much hotter season than we've ever had before. This is one of the few I can really take if uh, that reveal was any indication. So far, so good. You could put that on anything. That's that's just delicious. That's just delicious. I, I think I said it best right there. All right. Continuing on. Bonus stage, all right. Blow up your balloon and go after Maggie. There's a little bite Ready? on the end of that, actually. All right, go. so if we do not win this bonus round, we are hitting that scorpion wheel for the first time, but I'm feeling pretty good. Sweet. Barely. Barely beat that guy. Suck on that generic whatever you guys are. Crusty land. Fantastic. Crusty. I love it. Before all these characters became mainstays, they're just, you know, little one-off guest appearances every now and then, if that. Oh, it's just a guy in a... Probably went to that clown college that Homer went to in that season eight? Nine? I don't know. I think... What do you got, Otto? Can I drink that? Is that for me? I don't know. Oh, that's the throw. Santo Cell Helper! Come back! I need your help. Otto! Thank you, Otto. There we go. <laughs> nice. I think that gave me back more health than the, the hamburger did. There's uh, Morvin Monroe. He died at some point on the show. Give me that mallet. Millhouse. Or I can die and not get to use it. That's cool, too. Yeah, no, this... I think I did dodge a bolt with the whole losing a life thing. This is... I mean, most arcade game games are quarter suckers, but this game is, uh, yeah, it's pretty notorious. There's only one move, unless I'm missing something. Is there, like, a second move I should know about? There's jump? What the hell was that? We need to do a video games 101 on this. I don't know. Maybe it's this part of the combo. Looks like he's thrown a little upward cut every now and then. Can I drink that? No. A lot of the stuff you should be able to eat to get some health back. It's just for throwing. Imagine if they made this arcade game in like 1995. When a lot of the best seasons that already come out, you'd have so many more characters. Scorpio could have been the last boss. Gotta get like a top three, or even just top one, favorite Simpsons episode. You only move twice is up there for me. 
Did I miss the tree? Was there something going on? Oh, there's two-player combos in this game. I forgot about that. I assume I did those with my brother. I will definitely take this over Bart versus the Space Mutants, which we did a Video Games 101 class on within the last few months. Or year. I don't know, time. You know how time goes. Like, this game kind of scared me when I was a kid, honestly. There's a lot of... Just... A lot of weirdness to it. I mean, that animation right there, that's kind of terrifying for a little kid. Bird? Snowball! Oh, I didn't need that hot dog, but thanks, uh... Girl that Bard has a crush on. That's pretty terrifying. Oh, you mean P.T. He, he dances for nickels, or what? Set the move on this guy. All right, maybe not. Eh? Am I kidding myself in saying the move? The move is just to have lots of quarters. Bothering your mom. Yeah, it's Sherry or Terry. Uh, you, Acne. Girl, Bart has a crush on. My sister likes you. <laughs> oh. oh, come on. That's embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Can't lose another life. Uh. All right. Uh, I think we paused it there, or we broke it. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, we'll find out. Round two. All right, Palo Alto Firefighters. Habanero pepper sauce making its in-game debut here on Let's Burn with Friggins. Two levels down here in the Simpsons arcade game. I haven't played this in many years, so I'm having a good time. I say that now. Yeah, this one has, I think I mentioned when we were doing the reveal. It's a little spicier. It's like a Taco Bell sauce, but spicier and tastier, but mm. yeah, that stings. That stings. And that's round two. Yeah, this is the uh, the website I bought all these from. Their their sauce indicator is it's way off. And it only gets hotter from here, but okay. Did I break the game? Possibly. Find out. Nope. That's a good scream. All right. Springfield Discount Cemetery. Yeah, this stage scared me. Cemeteries in general, but... Yeah, all right, Frog? Is that our reference? You're not, like, from the power plant runoff, are you? I don't know what's going on with that frog. Need to do more jump kicks, I feel like. Yeah, who are all these guys? Did, like, Mr. Burns have an army of these guys in one episode from Season 1 or something? That I just don't remember. I'll have the single-use pickup items. You get, like, two per level. Yeah, jump kicks for the win. Sort of how it was in, uh, the... Turtles arcade game, Turtles 2, on the on the NES, say SNES. Like that move, I can't even run. You think you like double tap the joystick or something, but not the case. Higher goons, they're not buff enough to be the higher goons though. Those guys were, they were thicker. They were big, bigger men. Higher goons. All right. Ah, right, here we go. Reusable. It's, it's weak as hell, but at least it lets me do some attacks from a distance. It would be a full moon tonight, wouldn't it? I like the star animation in the background. Can I keep both of these? Yep. It's all coming back to me. 
I think I played this on Let's Play with Brigands seven years ago, so eight years ago, so it's been a while. That would have been the last time. Probably like a little bit of thriller inspired moves there. game, though, you know, like, the, uh, Simpsons right, rights holders, Matt Groening and everything, you know, they could have just sold the rights off, to, you know, they're given the, uh, the licensing for someone to make a video game, and it could have been garbage. This is really good. I think that, does that count as a level? I think that counts as a level. We'll take it. All right, Floyd and Fred's Key Lime Habanero. There we go. That's that's the translucent bottle I was looking for right there. That's how hot this is. It's literally on fire in my hands right now. And this is round three, people. Good Lord. All right, but yeah, it's, it's lime juice, and it's really spicy. It's kind of amazing how they did this, but it comes out kind of precariously. But, you know... You don't need a whole lot of that. Mm. It's got that sour bite to it, but also a lot of heat. Mm. It's really impressive. I will say also, from what I know about this lineup, it's really hot, but the flavor is maybe the best sauce for sauce we've ever had on this channel. So that's pretty damn cool. All right, so you gotta hit it like three times, that's fine. <laughs> Gotta do my sauce. Sorry, Homer. Oh, we can toss him off or knock him off. No, that guy's supposed to be, but there's a lot of them. This guy kind of looks like the like Carl. Was that the name of the guy? Sorry if somebody mentioned that already. The one that, uh, like, he's Homer's personal assistant's assistant when he gets that hair growth tonic. I think he was voiced by Harvey Firestein. There we go. Are we fine? We've been seeing these guys a lot. It's just a couple of kids in suits. The kids standing on other kids. That one looks a little doofier than the other one. All right, well, the, strictly speaking, they are standing on top of each other, but nothing in that barrel, really. That was a great early episode, too, though. The one with Carl, the assistant, when Homer was climbing the, the corporate ladder because he had all that confidence from having that thick head of hair. And then Carl takes the fall for him. I don't want to be that guy, but like back when, you know, The Simpsons, it was funny, but it also had heart. I hate being that guy, though. No, I'm sure season 40 or whatever they're on now is still good. I don't know. Oh, did we actually beat the other guy? He's gone. He wasn't flickering or anything. All right, so I think that's just part of a combo. That little uppercut that he throws. Yeah, I was just praising this game, and now I'm like, well, there is only one move per character. <laughs> Whatever. Moe's Tavern. Oh, it's when it's all fancy. <laughs> Moe's went all highbrow. All right, uh, yeah. Yeah, these games are made for for co-op. That's all right. Yeah, we're on to the aardvark sauce. 
Uh, yeah, this is the secret aardvark. Habanero hot sauce. Do it. Squeeze it, but it's like... I'm always kind of meh on the bits, but the flavor's good. A lot of heat. Well, not a lot of heat, but I think it's just, it's sort of, it's it's jumping on the, uh, on the, on the heels. Can you jump on heels of the, uh, the previous sauces, but anyway. All right. Surely Moe's not turned on us, too. Like it, they thought it was all upscaled Moe's, and it was just that fancy entrance from the other uh, waterfront. And you go through that massive tunnel, and you come out the other end, and it's it's just regular Moe's with a massive tunnel. A long way from home, yuppie boy. <laughs> I'll start a start a tab for you, Barney. I'm sorry. Oh, there's Mo. Yeah, he's not. He's just. Field and crank call from the boy. <laughs> Is that blood on that model? Oh, it's just the the bristles of the model. <laughs> are you like helping me out, Mo? What are you doing? Are you doing anything? He's just saying, stay off the counter. Try not to bleed on the counter, Mo. Oh, Maggie on the TV. Grab the slingshot. Oh, all right. Bleeding gums, Murphy. That's how you know this game is old. <laughs> There's the baby that Maggie feuds with, I guess. Just hanging out. Stop it. Oh, okay, you're just kind of invincible. Topping. I don't remember Moe's being this deep and having this much of a... Well, anything besides stools in a bathroom. Wow, how meta. Simpsons arcade game. Konami, so that makes sense. That's why it's good. Coming out. Konami didn't mess around with their arcade beat em ups. So, yeah. Good thing that they got the license to make this game and not some crappy. crappy company. Is that supposed to be. Sel Patty and Selma? Oh, this guy scared the hell out of me. It's like a. A wino druggy that breathes fire. Yeah, I was like, what's wrong with him? Ooh, you know what though? We're kind of discovering here. Oh. Ew. Sneezes on you when you die. It's like. It's like Kearney in a few years or something. Which I mean, like, one year. Hey, Kearney. This fake ID is really great. Tell me where you got it, and I'll ignore the ice cream. Yeah, the, the uh, ice cream brownies that you have hidden underneath your armpits. We all knew this is just sort of turning to me, paraphrasing what I remember from a lot of Simpsons quotes. really satisfying when you land a lot of shots on a boss. I wish you didn't leave yourself open. Up. Get smacked after you get a hit in. I like when we get the free hit when we fly in. Get to sneeze and you get... There we go. Wow! I love that dance. Definitely did that when I was a kid. All right. Round uh, five. All right, the 708 from Heat Hot Sauce Shop, where I got all these sauces. Check that out. Citrus, you can uh, smell and I assume taste it. Assume. This one comes out. Medium clip. They say seven of eight, but we got that slotted in the fifth sauce right there. Yeah, that's good. 
It's good. What does he want me to say? It's good. All right. Jazz. There are not a lot of mini games in this. We haven't really teased the scorpion wheel that much. Did he just drop Maggie in the water? Oh well. Oh well. Can I get that rock? Nope. Rock slid. This feels like that one stage from Double Dragon 2. A little bit. What is that move? Striking a pose. There we go. Bigfoot just hanging out, going about its day. Okay, that was actually him. I thought it would be some guy in a, uh, a costume. They're gonna fight for me, right? No, they're gonna chase me, apparently. It's two Bigfoot, Big Feet. <laughs> Why are they so aggroed? Why are you in cahoots with these insurance salesmen slash evil Carls? It's not quite breakfast. It's not quite lunch, but it comes with a slice of... Give me that, Nelson! Can I have that, please? No? There you go. What can I say? Uh, is this gonna break and take me to my next? I feel like that was a thing. No! Nice. Oh, uh, that is one of the, uh, the fallout fish. Can I eat that? Oh, I need that mallet. All right, then. Oh, we're just tossing the uh, radioactive fish. Can I get a two for here? Can't even get a one for what? Yes! Sideshow Bob. <laughs> Just here to bring. Do you think like one of the most evil characters in the history of the Simpsons wouldn't be one of the few characters to help me in this game, but there we go. And I squandered it, I'm sorry. I squandered the sideshow roast chicken or whatever that was, turkey. What we got? Sideshow Bob should be a boss. Uh, it's, it's, it's season one. They didn't really know the dynamics yet. They're like, let's have a bear as a boss, and let's have Sideshow Bob <laughs> give uh, health restorative items. He's a good guy, right? Oh, the, uh, the boulders seem to hurt the bear. Yeah, this would have been an S show. If, if we got the uh, every time we lost a life roll, this would really be a mess. I really did. This is not the season opener or just... This is not the season in general where you want to, every time you die, roll on a, an arcade game. Especially when I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just treating this like I have a bunch of quarters. There's no skill here. But again, I, I discovered through the course of our Video Games 101 on the Turtles arcade game, you can definitely beat that game losing one or two lives tops. I just, I got no tips. Got no strategy on this one. No Briggs notes. Jump kicks would probably be the best advice. If you can get in, you can generally get out. You're a bit more careful. <laughs> Playing this like a rich kid in the 90s, yeah. Mom's right outside waiting impatiently on a bench. Like reading a book. She brought a book on the bench. <laughs> Countdown timer 987. Mom! <laughs> That's when you really didn't want that arcade game to be, like, in the back of the arcade, because you had to bolt out. Anyway, I digress. Round six. All right. 
So I misspoke. I said all the scorpion sauces are now been paired to the, uh, the scorpion wheel, but we have the prickly pear and scorpion purple hippo sauce. But uh, yeah, I kind of overlooked the, the scorpion. I heard good things about this. So I checked it out. It turns out that the scorpion is it's very low on the, uh, the ingredient list, so you don't get a whole lot of that flavor in the profile. Get a lot of that prickly pear, which has kind of like a melon taste. It's very nice. It does have like a little bit of that bite on the back. Which I'm getting right now, actually, but it doesn't have that nasty bong water taste that scorpion peppers have. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know some people like scorpion peppers, but yeah, it's it's very divisive. That's sort of what the song talks about, but we'll see if we get to it. That's such a great still of Homer. <laughs> Blissfully ignorant that Maggie is floating down the stream. Maggie! All right, eat some water. No scream that time. Ah, oh, I hate it this level. Which means I got this far when I was a kid. The dream level, where the donuts fight you. This scared me too. Everything scared me. But I was like, but I love The Simpsons, so I have to play it. Already playing it like once season three or four was out. So I'm like, who are all these characters? Seems like they really phoned in that part of this. This is where you should have Willy coming out playing Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Turtles had enemies like this. Not saxophones, mind you, but they had a similar moveset. That's what you wish we could do to Lisa's saxophone. Maggie! I think I can pick these up, yeah. That's pretty cool. Mag! <laughs> Gee! <laughs> oh, that one went rolling there. Thank you, consummate bowling skills. I think I found my level here in the dreamland. Mad suits. <laughs> Bart Devils. <laughs> this is back in season one when they thought that Bart was going to be the main character of the show. Before they realized, you know, like within a year that it was Homer. <laughs> And the intro kind of reflected that, too, because I think he was the first name they showed, Bart. Ah, oh, the giant bowling ball. <laughs> Anthropomorphic bowling ball. Man, this one is so satisfying to punch. I have more quarters. Yeah, Bart was the face of Simpsons Mania there in that first year. I remember it was one of the earliest seasons, and uh, we were watching it at like Thanksgiving at our grandma's house, and our cousin was like, what are you guys doing? We're like, me and my brother were like, we're watching The Simpsons. She's like, I'm not allowed to watch The Simpsons. Bart's bad, she said, <laughs> with, like with a straight face. Like her parents have been like, no, Bart's a bad influence. You can't watch that show. Before South Park and <laughs> shows like that came out. Bart's bad. If they had watched the show that first season, they would know, like, there were still moral lessons at that point, you know? Like, Bart usually realized, oh, man, I did something wrong, but I was in the wrong, and now I can see people learn lessons at the end of the episode. Ah, oh, it's so good beating the crap out of this bowling ball. Just the most satisfying sound effect. Doo, doo, doo. Mm -hmm. 
Also makes me laugh now too because I remember the one with where Bart had the crush on the uh, on Reverend Lovejoy's daughter, and she's like, "You're bad, Bart Simpson." He's like, "No, I'm not." Gotcha. Should not be nervous. I don't think that costs me any health or anything. All right, we're coming too. Love that trope. Peggy. Oh no, he's 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 dead. If not, you should probably go to a hospital. Uh, I should go to round seven. Yes. Not only do all the sauces taste pretty good, but we have a nice variety in terms of flavors. This is the Curry Fennel Fire with Carolina Reaper, also from Heat Hot, Heat Hot Sauce Shop. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, that's a lot. All right. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's no joke. Mm. Something in that has, like, Almost like a cough medicine taste at some point. I don't want to like, I guess it's like a licorice kind of flavor. Maybe that's a little bit like, I guess the, the fennel, but just a little bit of that there. But yeah, the heat, Ooh. The heat, I got the heat. All right, another bonus stage. We might finally get to the scorpion round. Hit. Hey, wake up and find Maggie. Oh, we're still out. Ready? Go. Yeah! Oh, I got those Tiger Woods button matching skills. Oh, we crushed that! Ken Brockman? See behind all this? Alright. Mr. Burns. Ah, oh, I missed the bowling ball. Alright, not gonna waste that mallet this time. Man, I gotta remember how fast that. That fennel sauce comes out. Ooh. Almost overloaded the spoon. He's in the big spoon, too. Already caught it himself from a bigger spoon. <laughs> like your club. May I suggest butter? You've selected five iron. Lee Trevino's putting challenge. That was my entire my entire concept of Lee Trevino is that Simpsons reference and his tiny cameo in Happy Gilmore, which I think he said he regrets. <laughs> I know nothing of him as a golfer. If you didn't show up in Tiger Woods PGA Tour. 2005. I probably don't know you. I don't remember this stage. I, I assume I've beaten this before. I remember Mr. Burns in some sort of robotic suit, but I don't remember this. Oh, damn you, Curry Fennel. <laughs> Am I supposed to fight you? What? Oh, I can pick you up. Worrying what the heck is going on with this? Okay. Yeah. Wait, no, I want to use you more. It's like a mini boss. All right. There we go. Battle Toad style. Oh, what is that? Corn. <laughs> is that really corn? Someone laid out an ear of corn on a sheet. As you do. Oh man, there was so much corn in that first season of The Simpsons. It was a bit much, quite honestly. Ooh, someone grabbed me. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, Marge has the vacuum cleaner. I guess she can pick up stuff too at the same time. So she could have she could have a broom and a vacuum cleaner. Pretty redundant. Or a mop. I don't know if I can get the mop actually. Might just be for those guys. Gotta hold on to this! 
very corny. I don't remember these guys at all. I've gotten beyond this, and I do not remember these guys. Apple? What? The vaguely Eastern music. Man, Konami had some good tunes. For sure. They're like half ninjas, half like wrestling costumes. The masks, mostly. No! No! Ninja stars. Yeah! All right, yeah. They definitely just ripped this out of the, uh, the uh, TMNT2 NES game. <laughs> Though I guess it was in the arcade game too, wasn't it? The Turtles arcade game. Not to be confused with whatever. We we talked about that on, on the video games 101, but Yeah, this is straight out of that. All it's missing is those tigers jumping out. And the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Foot Clan. It's a lot of stuff missing, but still. Definitely didn't weren't creative enough to come up with more TV station backgrounds, so they're like, alright. I liked that one. You know what level I liked? The uh kind of Japanese like one in that Turtles game. Let's let's work that in unaccountably into the Simpsons game. Who's the boss? Oh, this guy scared me too! Why wouldn't he? Why is he in this game? It makes no sense. Even in season one, you had other characters before this guy. Uh, <laughs> I need to hit more of the trees. I have more quarters. Yeah, that design just creeps me out. Something about the Simpsons universe take on whatever that character is. Just... I must have just blocked this out of my memory when I was a kid. Just went straight to the power plant. For the conservative kid, jump kicks for the win. There we go. Yeah, the boss in uh, Turtles that, that was at the end of this level was no joke either. Can we do it without losing a... Second light from this point? Yeah. <sighs> A man just died. <laughs> he yawns and then dances. The ultimate form of disrespect. Round eight. Lucky Dog, Fiend's best friend. This is their hottest sauce. This is Hellhound. Uh, fire roasted pepper sauce with Carolina Reaper. And mango. Welcome to round eight. Mm-hmm. Welcome to round eight. A lot of levels. There's a lot more levels that I remembered. Oh. Yeah, that's their hottest sauce. <laughs> I've never tried any of their other, other sauces, actually. I don't think. I don't think we had a Lucky Dog in Season 1. I don't know. Ooh. Wait. Maggie. Crusty Toys! Are they acting like Krusty's in with Mr. Burns in this kidnapping ring? Not sure what's going on. I mean, wouldn't put it past him. 
Springfield Nuclear Power Plant. Alright, this might be the final stage. Not sure how we're only on stage 8, and yet we're on round 9. I must have taken an extra one. Alright. Throw down burns. Welcome to my world. That doesn't sound anything like Whalen Smithers. Welcome to my world. I like this though. I like this as a uh This is fun, yeah. Not his lap either. I can easily avoid you. Trying to make, try, we're trying to work in those catchphrases. Eek, I'm fried. Eek, I'm fried. Ah, I went off at the wrong time. It's not a problem lining it up. Harris just be punching him. I don't know. This. Yeah, I guess we don't really need those. Just whack me with his cape. That's why Mr. Smithers made me head B guy. The <laughs> bee bit my bottom. Now my bottom's big. Alright, apparently Cape beats higher ground. Flash, Mr. Smithers. Got a lot of HP. I guess that's why he's uh, Mr. Burns' assistant. Like the uh, asking Troy McClure, what's the deal with Mr. S <laughs> with Smithers? You know what I mean. He's like, of course I do. Mr. Smithers works at the nuclear power plant. He lives in Springfield and he's single. Moving on. <laughs> oh. <sighs> and Mr. Burns used to be all about kidnapping and trying to murder. Welcome to your grave. Couldn't even. You had to have known what Mr. Burns' actual voice sounds like by the time he made this game. Welcome to your grave, suckers. Does he say excellent? Even in that crappy voice. There it is. <laughs> excellent. Uh, excellent. Excellent. I'm going to kill this man. Excellent. It reminds me of, uh... Are those, like, lights inside his suit? Or is he, like, sneezing? I don't know what's, what is going on in there. He might need more quarters. I think we're going through more lives than I did in the X-Man game when we did that on Let's Burn the Friggin's last season. There you go. Where do you think you're going? To find you a, just a better voice. <laughs> it's not even close. I could do a better Mr. Burns than this. Where do you think you're going? I'm Mr. Burns. How about this? How about this little move? Alright, now he timed that out pretty well. It's gotta be a little faster. Ah! Oh, very unforgiving. Quarters! Oh, we got anywhere. Tried to go in to find the voice actor who did you and just give them a stern talking down. 
I, like, this is very, uh, Super Smash TV. <laughs> I work for you, by the way. Midway through the fight. My, my last check was a little late. Oh, yes, yes. You've been having problems with the counting. Don't worry, you'll get your money. Now I'm doing the crappy voice. Don't worry. He's still going. All right. Screw the tactics. This is a street fight. Who wants it more, Mr. Burns? Apparently you do. Does zero lives count? I would like to pretend that I'm out of money right now. For dramatic effect. I can't take that chance. I found a couple quarters in my pocket. No Orange Julius for me after this. Just mixing in random laughing sound effects. Just thrown authenticity out the window at this point. Not even keeping consistent with their own crappy voice they gave him. Excellent. <laughs> Die, Mr. Burns! Fake Mr. Burns! Wow. What an unapologetic un quarter suck. You're not taller than me. Good slash really annoying sucking sound effect. <laughs> Mr. Burns died that day. <laughs> With his posture, if nothing else, he should be shorter than me. But anyway, there you go. That's a weird background. Nice. There we go. Homer looks like he doesn't know where to put his hand. <laughs> You're not even paying attention to her. You went through, I think, $75 in quarters to save her. Not even paying attention when she falls behind right there to be snatched up again. Good thing we killed literally everyone in Springfield. So, kidnapping would be quite impossible at this point. Well, well. Uh, I got all these caps mixed up. I don't know what goes to what. Oh, well. That's annoying. Why can't you all be more like Secret Aardvark and have your, your cap attached? the bottle. Alright, there we go. Starting off Season 3 of Let's Burn with Brigands with our first win. Oh, we can put in our uh, Let's Burn initials here. Let's... Let's burn brigands! I like it. And Bart. Unaccountably. And then there you go. You can spend the rest of your quarters playing the game again. We have more important things to do. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.